this video we're just going over these basic kind of clicking events and the specific map zooming type events. So, okay, as the mouse gets closer, maybe we're going to want to do something. Um, so we can actually set, uh, right on the map itself, uh, an event. So we can say, we can even put it down here if we wanted to, if there's variables we want to access that are already set in here. Um, so we're going to say map dot on, let's see, mouse move. Oh, mouse move again. And then we check the function, da da da. And we can just console log that and we see what we get. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. So we get what we'd pretty much expect by now latitude, longitudes, container stuff. Okay, great. So now if we want to measure, say, how far each marker is from our current location and then do something. It involves a couple uh, different things. This isn't strictly event-oriented, but it's the kind of thing that you'll end up using events for. Uh, when you're moving your mouse over the map, your uh, client may want you to either highlight something or a click is much simpler than even what we're doing. You can do the same thing, of course, with just a click by changing that event to click um, and then still having it change when you leave. So I generally think dragging and mousing events are more complex, uh, so that's why I'm, I'm sticking to these, uh, if you're wondering, which you're probably not. So okay, why don't we... Uh, I'm going to jump right to showing you how to measure that distance, because it's a little confusing, the idea of measuring distance between two points. Uh, you can just use a lo great library that's called Turf, uh, and we're just going to employ it right away. It's a nice handy one, does geospatial analysis in browsers. So if we see here, there's distance. Okay, so on distance it says calculates the distance between two points and radian streams. Okay, so that's clearly what um, I'm looking for. And there's some code here, so we still need to get started. So that's nice, they have the CDN tag right at the top. We will go and add that after our jQuery. And now we have access to turf. So let's go back to the distance thing, and that's going to calculate it. And the reason why this is somewhat complex, um, even if you're a math geek and you kind of know, oh, okay, I can just like, uh, you know, make a triangle and kind of measure a distance if I kind of know the coordinates already. Well, it's a little more complicated because the Earth is actually spherical, um, and our maps are flat, so you have to be able to account for that. The particular uh, geometry of the Earth. Okay, so we're just going to make a little fun thing here where we're going to make it so they um, it mouses, and it changes as we get closer. So with turf here, we're going to copy uh, over this distance thing. Let's move that in. So now we need to get these points out. So if I console log that and we reload, let's see here, and I mouse over. Okay, so we get the lat long is here, dot lat, and dot lng. Okay, so e dot lat dot lat, because typically we're looking at lat long. Okay, so that's okay. Now we need to make sure we check each marker every time, so we're going to do a little loop over the markers. Okay. We're going to do our checking in there. So I'm going to set the options. Actually, I'm just going to set the options right out from the, from the sent main function since it's not going to change. And I am going to change it to kilometers. I'm Canadian. i got to stay patriotic here um, to, the, to the old metric system. Okay, so now we need to get the center of the marker. Now, how do we get that? Let's go over to the documentation. And I was just looking at this. So... I just am in the marker documentation and came down to past events, to methods, and there's a get lat long method, which as we can see here returns the geographical position of the marker, which is right what we want. So we can just use marker dot get lat long, and I'm going to guess that it's going to be in the same format that, lat, that leaflet gives us the latitude and longitude in the map event. Um, that would just be really nice of them to be consistent like that, so I'm going to think that they're nice. Okay, so then I'm going to get the distance, and it's going to calculate that, and it should come out in kilometers, right? So I'm going to say if the distance here is less than 100 kilometers, then I want the, this particular marker to 
change its icon to a red icon. Okay, there we go. Let's see how that works. So there we go, it worked, and now they're all red, and again, we have to make them change back. They seem to kind of have a funny change when we actually mouse over them. We do have these other events going on, so they're kind of interacting. Now let's have this change so that if they're not in 100, it uh, goes back to the black icon. And there we go. So now we have this kind of cool effect where when we get close, we can have it change. So that's just some basic events in Leaflet, both on the map and with uh, particular features. Next, we're going to look at just events like the zoom and the center changes and some bounds change uh, and just some like geographic related events. Uh, and we're just going to look at hooking into those and doing something. See you in the next video.